What is one thing that you do for the photographic process that has saved you time? The things behind the camera or lighting, things like that. What is one thing you do for the photographic process that saves you time? Okay, yeah. So I think the number one thing that I do and that I tell my associates to do that makes everything easier is to just slow down and get the images right in camera. And so a lot of that is communicating with your clients. I remember when I first started, I thought that I had to be magical <laughs> and fast because sometimes they thought like, oh, you're going from inside to outside when I was shooting like full on weddings um, as my full time focus. Oh, you're going from inside to outside, like get this quick shot. And you know, you can do that. You can have two cameras or you can make some quick changes, but it's not immediate. And so it's all about communicating with people and taking the time and talking the whole way through, even if it feels kind of ridiculous. So for example, let's say that I'm photographing um, family photos because that's one that you can really make a lot of mistakes in when you're at a wedding or even just like family photos, like a big group photo. So what I used to do was be like, oh my gosh, hair on fire, we have to get through this. It's okay if things aren't perfect, I'll fix it later. And that's the worst thing you can say. And so now, I talk all the way through. I say, okay, you know, first of all, let me get my expo disc so that I can, well, this is before that starts, but before anything, let <laughs> me get my expo disc. I'm just setting my white balance. That means your skin tone's gonna look perfect. And so they know what I'm doing and they're not, they're not feeling, I'm not feeling the rush. If I need to change a lens, um, I change my lens and I say, hey, I'm changing my lens because this portrait lens is going to look so much better and you're going to look great in it. And so I had with associates photographing weddings for me, I realized that a lot of photographers, family photos, for instance, instead of zooming with their feet where they back up, they just zoom with their lens and then they get these really wide angle photos. Maybe they're not cropped quite how you want, so then you have to crop them later. And so I take the time and I communicate the whole way through. I'm gonna back up now because I really love this lens and I'm saying way, I'm communicating, I'm over communicating with them right, so right. that I'm getting the shot where I hopefully won't really have to crop it. I won't really have to do anything. Um, and then when people would come to me and be like, oh, I got something on my shirt, but you can just Photoshop that. And I'm like, let's get that off your shirt <laughs> or let's get your hair right or let's get you in the right place and take enough photos where your eyes are open and I get the shot. But the other thing that goes with that and slowing down is that instead of just like click, 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 taking thousands of photos, I'm very intentional about the photos that I take. And so I... I really try not to overshoot because every single photo that I take is now more time I have to spend in calling. And so I want to like wait for the moment. And then obviously if something's in motion, I'll take more, but I'm not, I'm not overshooting. So those are my big things. Communicate, slow down, get it right in camera and don't take too many photos. <laughs>